Oh, right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we are looking at, that's right, that's me on the screen. We're looking at my stream video from just yesterday where I played on ladder against what has to be the worst map hacker I've ever played against in my entire life. This game was absolutely ridiculous. It was insane, and I'm just going to be commentating over it a little bit. Now, I'm talking a lot at the start here. I was just talking live with my chat, so don't worry. We'll have game sounds, and you'll be able to hear my actual thoughts uh, once we get a minute or two into the game. But for now, let's just talk you guys through. So I've started the day. I've had a really sloppy warm-up game. Uh, I think it was like a messy PVT where I had to fight from behind. I'm like, okay, you know, we're warming up. We're talking with Twitch chat about, uh, you know, StarCraft, Reddit, and, and Reddit mod memes, and just dumb things like that. And I've decided here to go for a gas first opening with no scout, which is a very greedy opening that I'm kind of a little bit known for because I just feel like I can defend 99% of cheesy attacks and early rushes, even when I'm doing this build. And I'm like, yeah, I don't even need to see it coming. I have a bit more money by not sending a worker across the map. I have a bit more gas so my text down faster. And I'm super kind of just relaxed and chilled out. You can see rallying two dudes onto gas and then we'll rally after that down to the natural to expand queuing up to 20 workers. This is a really smooth opening so far. Now, while we just go through the opening, let's talk a little bit about my history with map hackers. For those who don't know, there's been periods where there's like lots of map hackers and then Blizzard did like a big ban wave once and they figured out how to identify them and like ban tons of people. Uh, unfortunately, it is free to play now, but also there aren't many freely available hacks. People actually go and pay people for these map hacks. Um, and, and even then, there's only a handful of people that actually do it. However, there are a lot of people out there who think everybody's map hacking. They're like, oh, anytime anything bad happens, they must be hacking. And I am the opposite of that. I never, ever, ever jump to that conclusion. I'm always like, nah, there's no way, man. There is absolutely no way. Like, you know, I just assume my opponent got lucky or they scouted something and I didn't notice them scouting it. So what's really funny about this game is I don't realize even when the game is over, I still don't think I'm playing a hacker <laughs> until Twitch chat actually calls it out. So this is like, in hindsight, it's really obvious. So I'm sure watching it now, I'm going to be like, oh man, am I, am I stupid? I think I might be stupid. <laughs> anyway, let's turn those game sounds on while we watch it now. Okay. And uh, I might be talking over myself a little bit here or there, but hopefully not too much. So an SCV ah, scout's so come money. in. So rich. And I'm talking about how rich I am. I'm like, oh, I'm so rich. Look at my, my no scout opening. I got so much money. How smooth is this? Oh, little do I know what's coming my way. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Buckle in, guys. My adepts just left my base. I'm chronoing probes. I've got a Stargate on the way, a second adept. And things are about to hit the fan. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a very scary attack. You can see I'm getting that serial killer face. Very intense. Pulling my probes away. Instantly dropping a shield battery. But I have to pull the probes. I've got to pull the workers and try to fight here. So I go for a giant surround. We mineral walk to that third base. i got to get good service here. I've got a ton of probes, but that's a lot of marines. Luckily, I get that wedge of probes in the middle to get the full surround on some of them. A lot of them are dying, but that bunker's going to finish. My adept also, it's hitting a bunker. It wasn't killing the SCV, building it, which is so unfortunate. It will now finish off those SCVs, but I don't know if it can stop that bunker finishing. I'm pulling my probes away from my natural and I am trying to stop this get up. Oh no, we hit the SCV instead of the bunker. The Oracle turns on its laser, but not early enough to kill that Marine. And now, uh oh, that single Marine killing my adept. But we get back to the shield battery just barely in time. I'm going to pull that back, that probe. And it looks like I should at least be able to get rid of this bunker on the high ground. My opponent not rallying Marines up into this bunker because they're incompetent, let's be real. <laughs> they could have had five more Marines shooting my Oracle at a depth there, but it looks like they're just falling back, and I'm like, oh, oh. that's interesting. Uh, I guess I make another Oracle. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> How many SCVs was that? Only like four, right? I think it was six, actually, Pig. Yeah. Six. Six past We've Pig. We've got Warp Gate as well. We've got Warp Gate as well. So this is the point where I'm kind of taking stock of the situation. I'm like, okay, I have Warp Gate. I have an Oracle. I guess I build another Oracle. Uh, how many SCVs? I'm trying to calculate. How much did he really commit to that push? Can I lose my expansion and still be okay? Because I'm realizing I can't really defend that Expo. The Oracle was out of energy. Adepts just don't do much damage to bunkers. And even now with two Stalkers, I don't want to lose these units and open up a chance for him to just pull the boys and run in with a second wave. So I've got a second Oracle. We're going to try and harass. Is he an engineering bay? 
<laughs> Did we see an engineering bay? So this makes no sense. I was like, wait, is he already on two bases fully? Like building it, but wait, he's still what building Marines hell? out of the proxy. I'm so confused at this point. So I'm like, okay, I'll clean up a few stray Marines, but I'm like, wait, 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 wait. I didn't see an expansion. And yet he's building turrets on one base, apparently. Because why else would you have an engineering base? So I'm so confused because nothing makes sense here. If you're building an engineering bay and turrets, that makes sense if you're on two or three bases, you know, you're building forwards. Uh, yeah, good build, I guess. Um, designed <laughs> to beat me. <laughs> this is one of those builds that's very rare, but I do not scout a lot, so fair enough. Look at me trying to justify my opponent's strategy. I'm like, oh, I guess I don't scout enough. He's probably watching my stream. He knows I... I, I mean, know. is he still just one base? Like, is there no expand here? I guess not, right? I guess not, right? Yeah, I'm like, I'm so confused at this stage. I'm like, why? He's still just massing Marines at home on one base. And I'm like, okay, this is the point where I'm like, okay, you can see I'm killer face. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start putting stasis traps down because I have almost no units. I'm making sentries so I can force field and I'm going robo. And the whole idea for me is like, if I can get Colossus up plus force fields, I can defend unlimited Marines, especially on a ramp, right? I'm like, yeah, I'll use stasis traps as well. Stalkers can pick off any individual Marines and then the stasis traps will buy me enough time. I can defend this expansion and okay. maybe just maybe get back in this game. And you'll see still not at any point am I entertaining. Oh, this guy might be, you know, hacking. I I'm just kind of like, this guy's all in didn't kill me. And, and he seems to not know what to do in the follow-up. He or she, I guess. Um, they're, for some reason, just building weird stuff. I don't know what's happening. And then I was like, oh, damn. He must have known that I was going to go stasis trap since my workers weren't harassing. I was like, fair enough. That makes sense. That's totally normal. And I'm like, dude, I don't think I could defend on the low ground. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. But he walks into a stasis trap there. D despite having map hacks in hindsight, that's probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> How incompetent do you have to be? <laughs> The stalker sentry adept's gonna start picking off marines. We're pulling back, giving away the shield battery. I'm like, nah, look, dude, I just can't. I can't defend my natural. I have to lose it again and be back to one base at seven minutes into the game. What if he was like a corner base up or something? And I'm like, there's no way he could still be one base. Because if he was, surely he'd be shoving up my ramp trying to finish the game, but he's not doing that. So I was like, and, and he's still got no upgrades on these marines. Like, and yet he built turrets. So I'm like, oh, he's got a corner base. So my oracles are going around to scout for that. I've got an immortal out. This probe's like scouting. I'm like, oh, he's gone home. I am so flabbergasted at this stage of the game. Like, what's going on? What? I'm very confused right now. Indeed, you are. Anything? Indeed, you are, pig from yesterday. <laughs> I'm very confused. And I just said, is he making? And I think what I meant was a, a raven out of the stuff. I was like, why would you be making a raven? I was like, oh, maybe for stasis trap cleanup. I'm making Colossus, which is going to do well versus the, the Marines, of course. I'm rebuilding that expansion. I'm just trying to turtle my butt off. At this point, I'm getting vision of every base in the corners of the map. And I'm kind of realizing there's no corner base. This is eight minutes and my opponent doesn't know how to expand. And it's at this point... I realized that, you know, up to this point, I imagined a human sitting at a chair opposite me, right? Competing against me. As someone who I have utmost respect for, they've made it to 5,300 plus GMMMR. It's starting to dawn on me that I might actually be in a Planet of the Apes StarCraft match where my opponent's just basically slapping some bongos that they've hooked up to the computer to control the game. And they're going, ooh, 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 ah, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah, apes can play. Uh, in this case, it's a Terran player, though, I believe. So <laughs> I'm throwing out these Oracle tags. And this is some of the most hilarious I've ever. Look at the minimap. Look at his army movement. He's splitting his army on that. I'm like, what is he doing over there? I'm like, he's spreading his army out. And he's still coming with, like, the latest mass all-in of all time. This is absolutely insane. So I'm like, okay, i got to keep eyes on him and try to land some big disruptor shots because he's still got way more units than I do. Uh oh, first oracle goes down. That is not good. So I'm like, that's cool. I can I can shoot a disruptor through the grass. And I'm like, oh, what the hell? The cyclo coming forward. I'm like, wow, he's he's really good at anticipating my moves, and it makes sense. God damn. Got my oracles. That's bad. That is bad indeed. Uh yeah, so I, I'm basically like, wow, this guy's a really good read on my, my defense, but hey, I'm buying time. My natural's fully saturated. I got Disruptors, Sentries, a Coloss an Immortal. I got some Colossus. Like, this is... It's okay for me, right? And since I lost my Oracles, I'm like, I need Vision. So we're using Hallucinations to try to scout out there to see exactly what's going on. And uh, I'm like, okay, I just got to land these Disruptor shots. 
trying to see, is he coming around the top? And then I see SCVs. I'm like, what? So I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna see if I can land a big disruptor shot. He's all in on one base that past 10 minutes. Wait, what? Why has he got banshees on one base? I guess I should have known. I, I did see the thing. I just thought it was going to be a raven to spot the stasis traps, you know? <laughs> Thankfully, I have a shield battery here keeping my units alive, but now he's actually potentially getting into a good siege position. I'm not able to get out there and slow him down, which is a big problem for me. The tanks are sieging up. We do get two marines and a siege tank already with that first disruptor shot. Battery overcharge can help us as well. He's trying to siege on the low ground, but I've got a good number of units. His tanks are getting blasted. Disruptor shot gets like 10 marines on the left side of that. I pull back a little bit. Those two tanks still doing damage. The marines are getting massacred by the Colossus. The Banshee runs out of energy. It goes down. Oh my lord, the Cyclone falls as well. What in the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! What is this? What is this? Why didn't you just expand? This is like the easiest win of all time. My opponent's like, just like, doing the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life, man. So they proxy two racks really far away as well, which I get like it's hard to find, but also that's like pretty conservative proxy barracksing that far away, man. And it's with the barracks at home. Also, oh, this is the one where they want you to scout the barracks at home and be like, and you'll be like, oh, it's a totally normal build. There's a barracks at home. Except the thing is, if you get in there with a probe, I guess the idea is this SCV is meant to see your probe coming. So then he can wall off reactively and pretend it's like, oh, I'm just walling off, but we're doing a pretty normal build. Correction, past pig. Uh, he's map hacking, so he'll see if there's a probe scout coming, and then he'll wall off. What in the heck? And he pulled like six SCVs or something. That's hilarious. Stream sniper? Why? Why do you guys think it's a stream sniper? Why do you guys? People always jump to that. They're always like, oh, he's hacking or he's stream sniping. I doubt it. Don't see any reason to think that, guys. It's just someone who plays baboon Starcraft. That's all. <laughs> just someone who plays baboon starcraft um okay so on that note just someone who plays baboon starcraft let's actually take a look at the replay from my terran opponent's point of view and let's just point out how very wrong i was and i did looking at the replay slowly it dawned on me but it took me a few minutes looking through everything so we're just going to speed through the replay here uh and show you guys some of the highlights all right so my opponent goes straight out, proxies two barracks down here at the bottom of the map, builds a third one. If they see a probe coming, they'll build a depot to make it look like, oh, it's just a normal one base build. I'm just not letting you scout, right? Absolutely ridiculous build order. This SCV comes in to like be like, oh, I'm a normal Terran. Look at me. I'm just scouting. I'm a normal Terran player. Look at me doing normal things. And then they're dropping a mule. And now this is really funny because you want to watch from their camera, right? This better be. And you're like, at this point, you're like, oh yeah, they've done a good job of pretending to be a normal player. And look at this, pulls an SCV, builds a depot, okay. We'll watch it on two times speed, and they're just like gathering up, gathering up. And they know that I have no vision, and I'm playing super greedy, I'm chronoing probes. So they're just like, all right, go! The funny thing is, they shove in with the SCV so far ahead of the Marines, they kind of give up the jig a little bit, let all those probes escape, and they try to shove up here. And this has to be some of the worst bunker placement I've ever seen. Like, he could have created a wall with the ramp that he could have pulled back behind and, and, and got up a bunker at a really good spot. Instead, he actually lets me get every Marine surrounded. This should have been such an easy victory. He's got so many Marines coming in. Also, my opponent built so many bunkers, they couldn't afford to keep putting Marines for a while there. Gets the Marines surrounded. Almost lost that SCV putting the bunker. And if that SCV had actually been focus fired better by me, I probably would have been just able to defend my natural from the start and been in a much better position. But as it is, you can see they're just kind of coming in there and you're like, oh, okay. All right. Base is you know, you, you're not the smartest player, but I think my favorite part is after this bunker gets cleaned up on the high ground, right? You can see my opponent doesn't even bring those Marines up. And then they've looked at home and they're realizing, oh, the plan didn't work. And you can see their cogs turning at this point in the replay where they're like, oh, the opponent has oracles. And you got to remember that map hackers aren't good at StarCraft. They just try to blind counter everything, right? Except it's not blind counter because they can see through the fog of war, so they know what's coming. So he's looking at my base right now, and he's like, oh, yeah, there's a Stargate, and he's building a second Oracle. So he puts down an engineering bay. 
to build turrets. Now, you don't build turrets when you're on a one base all in, guys. Do you know why? Base is under attack. Because you kind of have pressure on you to kill your opponent's stuff, right? Especially with map hacks. There's a good chance you can just catch those oracles with marines on the map, right? You can just split marines up to cover your mineral line. My opponent then goes double gas. Which means he's basically committing to the slowest transition ever. And look at that. He's like, ooh, where's this oracle coming from? And he just keeps moving around to anticipate. The bunker will get my nexus. I kind of wish I like pulled probes or something to deal with that. I thought there might be a lot more marines reinforcing, which is why I didn't. But look at this. Look at this marine movement. He's so sus. And the funny thing is, as good as the Terran is at catching my oracles, there's no control group. So it's always just F2. Select all army and then chase after them, right? And you could tell the multitasking is so stressed here. Loses two marines to that oracle. He's like, it's okay. I can see the other oracle coming towards the main. F2, every single marine up there to defend. He's going to put down a factory. He's still looking through the fog at the oracles. Yep. He looks at the oracle just before it enters his vision. He's tracking it. He's tracking it. Oh my God. It's so, it's so blatant in hindsight. I love though that my mentality was like to not even realize he was cheating. The fact that I won this game with no idea that my opponent was cheating shows just how bad my opponent is. And I was saying at the post game, uh, you guys heard me say, oh, easiest game of all time. I didn't mean this was the easiest win for me. I meant it should have been the easiest win for my opponent after they killed my expansion. But they just literally massed marines with no upgrades. And for some reason started building tanks and banshees. When it's like, dude, make stim, like get an expansion, make stim and shields and just a move to victory. This was so appallingly bad. It's so funny to watch from the point of view and realize like, oh, this player, there's incompetence and then there's this. So check this out. So my opponents go, this, this was the round two attack. And he sees, of course, the stasis trap in the stool because he's like, go around. Hasn't seen any of those units. Splits a marine ahead, clicks it straight on the stasis. And this here is the best display of how bad this player is. Because look, the marine goes in, sets the stasis. They're like, ha ha, I trapped you stalkers, ha ha. Except they let one escape because they went towards the stalkers instead of going left and cutting off the retreat. Sets off another stasis trap. And then with full vision, Walk straight into a stasis trap with the army. How bad can you be that you can see everything through the fog of war? You can see invisible units where they are and everything. And you still walk into a stasis trap. Like, there is incompetence and there is whatever the hell I just witnessed there. And that is just ridiculous. Oh my god. Such a baddie. So then building two turrets and plus one attack on otherwise unupgraded marines. And even a cyclone when you've already got like a thousand units that shoot up. I love as well how the oracles, this one survived on three hit points. This one survived on one hit point. These oracles must have driven him insane because he can see them and they're flying around like little gnats and he just could not kill them even with map hacks. So the point where you know my opponent was like super annoyed. was like, bloody stupid. Mm. And it's like, this is the thing about, if you guys are ever playing map hackers and you know you're playing one, just do little movements around the map and they stare at it because their whole way they win games is usually people hide what they're doing in Starcraft, go for one big surprise attack Except these guys see it minutes ahead, they hard counter it, and they go and slap it down. So if you start doing lots of little pokes and little like map control moves and feints, they're going to react really hard on all of them, right? So here I come forward with this little army and he's like, oh, I'll pull back, pull back. And like, look at what look at what my opponent does here. He's like, okay, I got to, ah, oh, man, I'm going to get revelated by the oracle. I got to spread the marines out. We'll spread the marines out. Like it's just, he starts just like battling himself here with like really pointless actions that he's doing. He's like, oh, spread the marines out. And then maybe attack forward again. See if we can... See if we can do some stuff. And then he's like, oh, wait, there's a disruptor there. Look at this. Look at this. He's thinking of attacking and he sees the disruptor that's over here behind the grass. Gets this oracle and then immediately runs away because there's a disruptor coming for him. And then he runs forward and he sees the disruptor. And he's like, no, 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 run away, run away. Use the cyclone. Use the cyclone. Kill the oracle. Oracle gets behind the pillar. Oh, oh, oh. Runs away before the disruptor even fires. It's so blatant. And then sees the disruptor going away and comes back for it. It's like, man, what an absolute idiot. <laughs> Now the disruptor shot goes out. You can see they're just there. They're just there. They're hiding from the hallucination, trying to pull the boys, but their army control's so bad. And now they're gonna try and shove forward, but there's another disruptor shot. So they send the Banshees forward preemptively. And now I'm like, I can't believe that I did not realize this was a hacker in the game. I'm like, come on, man, these moves. I was so shocked and none of it made sense because it's not even an effective way to win if you are cheating. And I think because there was so little logic in it, I couldn't even get in the mind space of this person. Because like I said, this truly is like a monkey given cheats. Like they are so bad at the game. It is impressive. Look at the micro here. They siege the tanks on the low ground and the Marines 
just run back and forwards in Colossus laser beams the whole time getting roasted. Oh my god! Oh my lord, they're so, so terrible. It's, it's actually really joyful to watch this one. My opponent could have just expanded and shown any depth of play, but they just had absolutely no cards up their sleeves. All right, guys, so right after that game, I took a break, looking at the replay, went to the bathroom, came back, and I ran into the exact same player again. Let's go. <laughs> so you, you can see I'm very right. focused on this. <laughs> so obviously, uh, this guy likes to build a barracks at home. I know what he does if he knows that you know what he's doing. Is there like, is there a change up? <laughs> or does he just still do the exact same thing, I wonder? Hit his barracks pretty well last time. I'm almost mind gaming myself in this early game because I'm so like, he played so stupid last game. Does he do the exact same thing in proxy three barracks? Do I scout for it? I was like, just send a probe across the map, see what this monkey's up to, and we'll figure it out as we go. Because I mean, if we think about that last game in context, my opponent had basically no depth, right? There, there's like no ability to play a macro game or a longer game. The army control, especially in that final fight, was horrendous. So you can see kind of why the opponent probably tries to one base all in every game. Okay, we got... okay. probe scout's gonna get in. Just started mining gas. Interesting. So it felt like his gas mining was like a little slow there. So it means if he was going for a Reaper, it'd be delayed by a couple seconds. And those seconds could add up. I'm just going to... I'm, I'm checking for proxies as well, just in case. I'm like, did he hide something out there? So I was like, ah, oh, you know, you never know if this guy's like maybe hiding a second barrack Oops. somewhere on the map. Hard to, hard to confirm that. At this point though, two SCVs on the low ground. I'm like, oh, he must be expanding. Ah, okay, he does put it down. It's kind of late, but... Now, remember what I said about distracting your opponent with units. So, at this point, I kind of want my opponent to stare at this probe and forget about basic... Yeah, I think he just cancels the task. See? I'm also like, what if he cancels the command center and just goes all in? I want to double check, right? And just by interacting with an opponent, if they're really bad, you can see he doesn't have the APM to even move that marine forward, even seeing my probe coming on the minimap. And little things like that, just confirming oh, oh. that my opponent's committing to the expo, such a big boost to me. And we're just going to play like the safest game okay. of StarCraft I've ever played. Because if I get the 2-0 reverse this map hacker, oh, you know that's a good feeling. Okay. Trying to like calm myself down. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. All right, we're gonna try to play scouting. So hopefully observers, but he will be able to scan them, of course. Hopefully they can make up for... Uh... Hopefully they can make up for, of course, the fact the, that he uh, has map the hacks. Yeah, the map hacks. So guys, this is our second game against this map hacker today. Um, that's a lot of Marines. I like how I keep trying to commentate, realizing this could be a YouTube video at some point. But I keep being like kind of surprised by what I'm seeing. It also just so the thing very... is, map hackers really struggle to uh, multitask. For those who don't know, map hackers really struggle to multitask. That's what we were saying earlier. Yeah, this is always something like just keeping units moving. Around, I know he's going to try and ambush this adept because it's annoyed him now. So I know this is like going to waste his APM, and I've queued up extra macro. So I'm like, yeah, you tickle it, you do a bit of extra damage. It's not the end of the world. Um, I think I'm a little sloppy on my probe production behind this, but. We're going, once again, Observers into Colossus behind this. is going to be the play. Three gateways. That's just a really solid way to start things off. Robo Bay down at 350. Two base Colossus. This is just one of those styles where I'm like, look, even if he's scanning to kill Observers, I should get some information from them. And we should get a good idea of what's coming our way. We've got a shield battery, a couple Stalkers, and Adept. This is, this is just the safest Starker up there I could possibly imagine. It's very conservative. I wouldn't want to do this if the map hacker actually had shown some ability to multitask and macro because he could be like, oh, you know, you can't really do anything aggressive off that build. He could drop a third command center, two engineering bays and hit me with like a really fierce three Playing base so push. so cautiously is not really something that fits me, but <laughs> I'm like, eh, I kind of have to do it, right? 
Yeah, definitely not my style to play such a cautious game of StarCraft. Sentry there. But it's one of those things where it's like, look, if your opponent really has no depth and they're just going to use their cheats to try and kill you with really simple attacks like that last game, it's like, all right, this is the way to just make sure Watch we for the, don't uh, die. Scan on the edge as the observer comes in, yeah? No? So I'm watching for the scan. I thought he'd intercept my observer. Okay, he's just going through, Rex. Interesting. And when I say interesting, I mean, uh-oh, that could hit me any second now. There's a big blob of red coming. And my Colossus is nowhere near. I think I've got an immortal building right now. I warp in two more sentries. I'm like, okay, we can force field this. But I had a big panic game uh, versus you, Thermal, where I missed all my force fields. And oh no, I've done it again! That ain't going well for him. <laughs> I'll tell you that much, guys. And yet I'm surprisingly cocky in the face of it. <laughs> this player is such a fucking baboon, man. <laughs> yeah, now he's going to try and scan me observers down. Yeah, of course. I'm getting a little bit cocky right now. Right. Yes, that fight went okay for me. I cleaned him up. I got a Colossus. I got, you know, these units out. I, I can go for a third base. But I've still got to be wary here because he did kill a lot of sentries. And oh, I think, you know, there's part of me that's annoyed at myself for messing up those force fields. And that's why I'm being a bit of a uh, <laughs> kind of taunting him. I'm like, oh, he's so bad. You know, bit of uh, bit of my ego being projected onto my opponent, I think. My own frailties. Now, this is a cool little poke I'm going for. The problem is he sniped my observers and he saw where I'm coming from. So he could be flanking me right now with a ton of marine marauder. And this is exactly, you see that rally to the right? If I go in his natural, I'm going to get surrounded. So I'm like, nah. He also might be counterattacking and diving towards my third. So I'm like, just go home. We've scared him with this attack. Remember, move across the map. Act like you're gonna you're gonna go for it, and then just pull home. Move forward, move back. Send a medevac to the dead space and just patrol it. You know, do these little moves that make the map hacker look at it and have to think and go, oh, there's a drop, and they'll warp in eight stalkers in the main, or they'll run a ten marines up there and they'll wait, and then the drop never goes in. It just flies away. And that's going to drain a much bigger proportion of his APM than yours. So you just do lots of little fake outs. They can't handle it at all. So I'm just like, okay, we're making Colossus. We're sending hallucinations to scout. Making more units. I'm going to check if he's got a third command center or if he's going to be more push oriented in this game, right? So I've got the watchtower now. I'm sending scouts around the bottom left as well. Trying to build pylons on the map. It's we see okay. tanks. And is he going straight Viking or Medivac, I wonder? Tank, bio, potentially Vikings eventually. And now the question is, where's that army? Where's that third CC? So I'm like, uh oh, he might be pushing me right now. I don't see a third. All right, we're about to get hit by something. So I've got to move forward and make sure he doesn't sneak up on me. I don't know where his army is, though. Could be appearing on the left side. I've got one pylon out there. I'm really wondering where he is right now. Freaking out a little bit. Pylon on the right. I'm like, what if he's going to doom drop my main? What if he's snuck around the watchtower? I'm like, oh, I'm so paranoid. Trying to figure out where his army is. Which is kind of hard with a map hacker, right? <laughs> Takes a while to clean up the unit on the watchtower. That's very good for me. I gotta stop this army sieging on my base. Because I don't have charge yet and plus one. I'd like to wait for that. But that army is very clumped up. Force fields come down. They don't do too much. And oh, that bio is so clumped. Oh my god. Oh, oh nice micro, buddy. <gasps> when I say nice micro, what I really mean is what the fuck are you doing? This is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Oh my god. This player is appallingly bad. Oh my lord. They just have no micro at all. They uh, don't use control groups. We already figured that out from the last game. But this time they're like, Ah, oh, he knows I'm in a proxy rax. Oh, what do I do? He's like, I have a plan B. Just a straight up three rax. No SCV scout, of course. Why would you SCV scout? All right, guys, so let's go into the replay and look at this from my opponent's point of view. They know that I know about their three-rack strategy, so they're like, oh, no, they know I'm a hacker. <laughs> and they just go for a three-racks. Now, let's look at their vision. Do they ever actually look through the fog at my base? Probably not. That would be that would be a little bit blatant. Whoa, 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 what? Look at this. So my probe's about to arrive, and this player's about to select an SCV and A-move it below the ramp. Look at this. Check this. You can see what they're selecting in the bottom right behind me as well. So they select the barracks and they've selected an SCV and then they A-move it to there. The probe is here. See? They literally A-move it right on the probe. It wasn't even going to scout. It was literally just not, not even making an attempt to hide it. This absolute try-hard loser. Oh my god. 
What a tool. The funny thing is as well, check out the control groups. No control group for this SCV. So they're gonna have to like scroll down there or click on the minimap and select it. So you can just tell they have really noob habits because they never use army control groups. They're gonna fight the probe. Probe is gonna back off there. It's building a marine. Two SCVs here hanging around. No scouting across the map at all. And I mean, it's kind of funny to me because the three racks, it's like not a bad play, but the fact that my opponent had the map hacking vision and they still tried to shove into force fields just hoping that I would miss them is hilarious. What's even more hilarious is I miss those force fields yet again. Still no scan. They build a bunker for one adept. That is hilarious. Guys, if you have seven Marines out, at three minutes 20 and they have one adept at your base, you don't need a bunker. <laughs> but of course the strategic uh, understanding here of an absolute baboon. Also my opponent's SCV count is really bad and they still haven't rallied from their main to the natural. They're not dropping mules or SCVs. This adept, that was all that adept. That adept actually distracted my opponent from building like three or four SCVs and from transferring from the main to the natural. And that was all the adept at the front just distracting him. So my instincts were right, guys. Just do little things to irritate them and it's gonna massively throw these idiots off. Only starts his depot there. Did he just cancel something? Oh, maybe he sells the bunker. Yeah, he sells the bunker. Okay, that's what I heard exploding there. Building mostly Marines, starting to build Marauders here as well. But uh, mostly Marines coming on out. And this was all off one gas. So this is a, a doing one gas for this long. I mean, if you're doing that, you should be hitting a very crisp timing. And now it goes for the second and third gas. And a factory. I mean, the factory 450 is pretty late. But he's just kind of shoving across the map. Now, this is this is the great thing. All right, let's, let's look. So they've moved across the map. Let's watch from their camera. So they're looking ahead through the fog. Looking ahead. They're looking at my army. And this is the great thing. This is, this is coming from the absolute champion that saw a stasis trap and walked into it. It's like, yeah, this looks like a good idea. Even with my missed force fields, it's still actually a decent fight for me. But holy crap, imagine if I landed that middle force field correctly. Like, what in the heck? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Think about how that bad would be. It started out as a, a semi-positive trade, but the tail end does put it in my favor as the Protoss player. And then, okay, let, let's watch this observer hunting as well. All right. We're on, we're on the Terran player's camera as he just runs in and just clicks on some, some sentries. And now he's going to pull home and he's instantly like, oh, he killed that observer. It wasn't even on his screen, but he just sees it on the minimap, scrolls down to kill it. What an absolute tool. Fills the staff up to the top. And he sees the other observer off to the right as well. So he's chasing that. Keep in mind, that observer is basically off screen, but he's not even looking at it. He's just kind of like F2, A moving on the minimap in the direction of it. And he actually scans it and manages to get it there. Does lose a few Marines. If you'll notice, he's not building SCVs. He's not building tanks. He could only ever do one thing at a time. There we go. Start some tanks. And the great thing is if you're planning to two base all in, 40 SCVs at most 41 if you're only on three gases, 44 if you're on four gases, is the maximum SCV count. But check out what this guy, this player does with the SCVs. He's just going to keep building SCVs and not stop because he doesn't actually know how the game works. He's oversaturated in the main. Isn't building defos right now, so might even hit a supply block in a little while. Does come back to the front. Regroups the moment my army retreats, right? He's like, okay, we can regroup now. We're safe. Drops the fourth gas. The reactor only now going down on the starport as well. Man, you, you got to wonder what's going through these players' heads. And what's awesome here is he breaks these rocks, and then he just attacks on the northern path anyway and doesn't even use this opening. Big brain Starcraft coming out of this guy. Add on. <clears throat> Hits a supply block on 94, despite having almost no macro to do. It's, it's a pretty big one as well. Floating 400 minerals. Oof. Okay, now he's building like four depot, three depots at once. Is he looking at my, we're we looking at my army? Yeah, he's gauging my army. Look at that. Isn't that the funniest? Oh my God. I just, there's something so humorous about that. They're just like, yep, this is how you play Starcraft. Look, when you move out, you just got to make sure you check their army, compare it to yours. He just glances through the fog. He's going to glance at it again in a second. Yep, keeps checking that my army's here, and he's like, okay, cool, let's, like, push forward. Probably doesn't even notice the Stalker and the Watchtower immediately. And this here has to be one of the greatest tactical maneuvers I've ever seen. I was wondering why my opponent didn't just expand and win the game in, in that first game, and I think we're about to find out why. 
you're meant to siege and spread your bio out in a big arc so the Colossus don't kill it and only engage when I attack into the tanks. Instead, Barco Terran Player is about to do some of the most fantastically hilarious micro ever, which is stutter stepping in a ball, Marines at the front, into Colossus. Making sure they stay in the maximum clump. Look at this micro. Stutter step shoot, stutter step shoot, stutter step shoot. Oh my, and then this here is the cherry on top of the absolutely brain damaged cake. Picks up and then starts dropping on top of the Colossus. And you're like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, I saw someone do this one time. And you're like, you thought that would work with like three Marauders and a Marine? What are you doing? Amazed that they even type GG. They can continue their fantasy of pretending they're actually playing StarCraft while blatantly cheating and being so terrible that they can't even convert those victories. Hope you guys enjoyed this preview of what it's like to dismantle a map hacker. Remember, be active. If you know someone's hacking against you, just cue things to move across and harass them a little bit, but always go to the next step. Never commit 100% in one direction. As long as you're not all in on a surprise attack, you're like doing a bit of harassment, but very lightly committed and macroing and adding upgrades and building army. You just do a real balanced progression through the game where it's kind of like middle of the road StarCraft plus lots of moving around the map to distract them because your opponent is so simple. You move units around. They're like a cat with a laser light on the wall, just kind of going, oh, what's happening? There's an adept at the front. I'm going to terribly miss macro. <laughs> anyway, I don't know about you. I just get excited killing map hackers. I don't get to do it very often. Usually, you know, they're smart enough to figure out how to beat you. This one luckily wasn't. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to see some more interesting games and casts, check out some of the ones around the screen. Don't forget to check out the Patreon down below in the description, and we'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye and good night.